echoes of desolation, the unveiling of a tragic legacy. Armenia's Prime Minister, Nikol Pashinyan, has expressed a strong commitment to achieving a peace agreement with Azerbaijan in the coming months. His aim is to establish diplomatic relations between the two nations, marking a significant step toward reconciliation after decades of conflict. These statements come in the wake of recent events, as Azerbaijan successfully recaptured the Nagorno-Karabakh region from ethnic Armenian separatists. Pashinyan conveyed his optimism about the ongoing peace negotiations in an address at an international economic forum in Tbilisi, the capital of Georgia. The proposed peace treaty is expected to be built on the foundation of mutual recognition of the Soviet-era borders of both Armenia and Azerbaijan in the Caucasus region. Azerbaijan's Prime Minister, Ali Asadov, also underscored Baku's dedication to peace and the re-establishment of transport links with Armenia, emphasizing their commitment to these objectives since 2020. However, the progress in achieving these goals largely depends on the willingness of Yerevan to actively engage in the peace process. Azerbaijani President Ilham Aliyev has previously suggested that a peace treaty with Armenia could potentially be signed by the end of the year. Notably, last month saw Azerbaijan launching a military offensive to regain control of Nagorno-Karabakh, an area that is internationally recognized as part of Azerbaijan, but had been governed by ethnic Armenian separatists since the 1990s. This offensive resulted in a mass exodus of most of the region's 120,000 ethnic Armenians. Pashinyan's statements come amid ongoing efforts to establish lasting peace in the region. While progress has been made, there have been sporadic border skirmishes that underscore the challenges in achieving a sustainable peace agreement. In a recent interview with the Wall Street Journal, Pashinyan also expressed his view that hosting Russian military bases on Armenian territory no longer offers any advantages. Russia's military presence in Armenia includes garrisons in two locations and an airbase, and Russia has historically positioned itself as the guarantor of Armenia's security in the South Caucasus region. In response to these comments, the Kremlin expressed hope that Armenian authorities would clarify Pashinyan's position. Recent months have witnessed a deterioration in relations between Russia and Armenia, with Yerevan accusing Moscow of not providing adequate support against Azerbaijan, a nation with which Russia also has close ties. The long-standing conflict between Armenia and Azerbaijan over Nagorno-Karabakh, which has spanned three decades, has resulted in a lack of diplomatic relations between the two countries and a heavily fortified common border. Efforts are ongoing to address these historical grievances and to pave the way for peaceful coexistence in the region.